So it says, when noon is sacking, on ten ween, come before the throat letters. Throat? What is it? Throat letters. Okay? Whenever noon and sakina is mixed or comes right next to the throat letters, sittun. Oh, lil halqi sittun ruttibat fel tarafi. For the throat, there are six. This is six right here. Ruttibat, set and straight in order. Fel tarafi. So then you should know what they are. So now it's saying the throat letters, huruful halq, that's what they're called, the letters of the throat, are how many in number? So before noon is sacking it or tenween, he said six. There's six letters of the throat. Before noon is sacking it or tenween comes before, when it comes before these six throat letters, right? That's going to equal out to what? What's the rule? Idhar, right? It's going to be idhar right there. And idhar is to pronounce the noon and sacking it clearly and distinctly and independently of the other letters. There's not going to be any mixture. So we need to know, like he said, fel tarifi. So then you should know. So then know what they are. The implied speech here is, is so know them. So then know them. What are them? The six letters of the throat. Okay? So now we have to find out what the six letters of the throat. Do we understand this, this line? So the first line is, لِنُّونِ إِن تَسْكُونَ وَلِتَّنْوِينِ أَرْبَعُ أَحْكَامٍ فَخُذْ تَبْيِينِ So for the letters, the noon and the tenween, there are four rules. But there's some clarification because one of the rules has part A and B. Right? So that's actually five rules. فَالْأَوُّلُ الْإِذْهَارُ قَبْلَ أَحْرُفِ So the first rule we have to recognize is the one that we call إِذْهَار. And that comes before Certain letters. What are they? Lil halqi situn ruttibat fel tarifi are the six letters of the throat. So then know them. Can I clean up? Any questions about that? Yes? Yes, what I'd like to mention if there is like in in Quran, if you can read some of like that. We will when we get to you we'll we will give examples. His question is can we read some examples? Can we get some example of what this is and how it's done? Yes. Only if you can tell me what the letters of, of the throat are. So since we haven't gotten there, once first we're going piece by piece. The first thing is to know that we're dealing with noon and second and tenween and what is that. The next step is to know what are the rules of noon and second and tenween. There are how many? Four of them, right? Then the next one is to know what's the first one. The first one is idhar. What does it do? It's throat letters. The next step is going to be what? What are the throat letters? Okay? And when we get to that, then we'll, we'll, we'll go. And that is just the completion of this lesson. Just to learn what idhar is and how it's applied and what are the letters of the throat. Okay? So we have idhar here, which is to recite the word clearly, right? Clearly and independent. Independent. Meaning it's not mixed. That's the noon and sakina. And the tenween is going to be recited clearly and independent of any other less letter. So we're going to say an, un, in, right? Before the letters of the throat. And the letters of the throat are six. Let's go with this. فَالْأَوَّلُ الْإِذْهَارُ قَبْلَ أَحْرُفِ لِلْحَلْقِ سِتْتٌ رُتِّبَتْ فَالْتَعْرُفِ And they're going to go through the letters real easy. Hamzun fahaun thumma aynun haa'u muhmalatani thumma ghaynun kha'u. I'll say it again and again and again. So now we're going to learn what the letters of the throat are. The letters of the throat are Hamzun fahaun Hamzun fahaun thumma aynun haa'u. I made a mistake that first time. It's Hamza fahaun thumma aynun haa'u muhmalatani, which means they don't have anything over them. We'll talk about that for half a second or so, just so we can get real clear about that. Hamzun fahaun thumma aynun haa'u. Muhmalatani thumma ghaynun kha'u. Those are the six letters of the throat. The first one is, and this is part of the poem. Hamzun fahaun. Thumma, you guys should be saying something. Ainun, 
ها او مهملتاني لوكي دا مهملتاني ثم وين خاء لا let's do this again Hamzun. This is Hamzun. Everybody see that? Do I need to make it bigger? Hamzun Fahaun. This is Haun. It's done like this. It's done like this. It's done like this. It's done like this. And it's done like this. These are all ha. It's done like this in the beginning of a word. This is in the middle of the word. This is at the end of the word. Okay? Hamzun fahaun thumma. Thumma means then. Aynun. Ayn is like this. Aynun haun. Ha is exactly like that. That's haun. Muhmalatani. Thumma. Oh, it goes thumma. Aynun haun. Muhmalatani. What this word means, let's break it down. Mu in front of a word means what? One who, One who or something that's possessing the qualities of. So this is a, the ain and the ha, these two, because here it says tani. This alif with lam here means two. Okay? Meaning those two. And it's feminine because of the word, the letters from considered feminine. So, Hamala is the root. Ha ma la. What does that mean? It means it ha it's doesn't have anything. Muhammalan. Like it, it ignored something or it took it lazily. What does it mean as a terminology? It means that these ain and this ha, they don't have any diacritical marks over them. Because rain said thumma, then rain. Rain is considered ainul bin nukta. You know what I'm saying? It has a ain with a nukta, which is just rain. The nukta is the, the diacritical mark. So it's not muhmal. It's not left alone. It has something over it. But this one is left alone. Okay? So thumma ainun khau. And likewise, kha is just like a ha, except for it does it has a diacritical mark. Okay? Ainun thumma rainun. And you might note that at the end of the word, they don't have dhammatan. It doesn't say dhammatan. That's the way the poem goes. So it's hamzun fahaun thumma aynun hau. Muhmalatani, meaning they don't have no diacritical marks. Okay? So that means ayn and ha don't have any diacritical marks. So you know exactly what's being referred to, not to confuse them with any other letters that do have diacritical marks. So it says, thumma ghainun khau. Thumma, then ghainun khau. This is ghain, this is kha. These are the six letters. Let me put them on the side. So we have idhar, and then we have the letters of the, the throat. We'll say throat letters. And they are what? Hamza, right? We could go like that. Hamza, then haun, thumma, aynun, thumma, haun. Muhmalatani, meaning we don't put anything on them. Thumma, waynun, khau. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Lil halqi situn ruttibat fal ta'rifi. These are the halq for the letters of the throat. These are the, 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 the six letters of the throat, so you must know them. And this little line here is just to separate these two from each other. Is that understood? Now let's get to some examples. Some examples of how the idhar and the nunis sakina and the tanween will be played out in this format, in, in idhar. And that's what everybody wants, right? Everybody wants to know that. So, the thing that we have to understand first and foremost, at this point, after knowing that there are how many rules for Nun and Sakin and Wilit Tenween? 
There are four rules. 